For centuries, craftsmen and craftswomen all over the United States have proudly created quality products that ultimately brandish the iconic phrase, Made in America. As long as I can remember, I've been fascinated with American artistry. It's something I pay close attention to when buying products, and it's something that has become more important to me over the years. Searching for these American-made crafts has become more than a hobby for me. It's become my obsession. What's going on, everyone? And welcome to the last episode of American Ride for this season. I am honored to be here with Takayuki Noguchi of Kato Brand, uh, also known as Nick. Nick, I want to thank uh, you nice so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. And we are in Gardena, California, and about to do a walkthrough of Kato Brand. So here we go. Yeah, let's get started. <laughs> These are the sewing standards for each of the Kato brand denim. This one's really, really soft. And yeah, almost... we have the two weight fabric for 4S mm -hmm. switch. So 40 ounces. Um, so 14 ounce on yeah, this one? Yeah, and then 10.5 ounces. Gotcha. Yeah. So what Rena and Nick just explained to me is that based on the weight of the denim itself, this is 10.5 ounce, is that right? 10.5 ounces? Yes, 10.5 ounce. And you can tell just by the design of the selvage itself versus a heavier selvage, this is 14 ounce. It's gonna have a thicker selvage. This particular one, if you were, if you could feel it, if you were here with me, it's a 14 ounce, but it's raw. It has more of a scratchy, harder feel, where this particular one is washed and softer. But I, this is a signature to Kato. You can tell the, the weight based on how thick the selvage is. So is this for spring, summer, and yes. fall, winter next year? Yeah, spring, uh, you know, next season. So spring and the summer for this. So bark, so bark fabric. Okay. Yeah. So I want to show you the selvage. This is selvage fabric for black jeans. Oh, wow. OS stretch. So selvage fabric is so narrow wise, mm -hmm. narrow wise. So this is reg uh, regular wise for this. So no, no our brand, no okay. our brand. All the best selvage denim is now coming from Japan. So for those of you that don't know, the Japanese have purchased most of the machines that actually build the denim, taken over to Japan. So there's this relationship between the US and Japan. And I'd like to say that the denim is still made in USA because of the fact that they're using the ma uh, the machines. Actually, Cone, cone Mill. Cone Mill, yeah, U USA Fabric Mill. Yeah. So, but uh, they, they, gonna, uh, they have been to make uh, in, uh, didn't make uh, in US right now. Mm -hmm. So Cone is major, uh, majority still making in China right now. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are shift. Yeah, they, they, yeah, everything got shifted yeah. over there. Yeah, and they were like the yeah. one, one of the last few. Yeah, what well, Yeah, yeah. And that was it. But yeah, that that's the relationship between Japan and the U.S. Now, uh, they, like I said, they purchased a lot of the looms, and this is what we get. What so, do we have here? Yeah, this is this fabric. It's uh, not our brand, so I want to compare. So I want to show you the compare, compare. So this is a regular waving denim. So it's wide. Yes. So this is service is using a vintage room. So it's going to be narrow size. Yeah. So again, using a vintage loom, the loom could only produce so much yeah. and where this is a little bit more mass produced, uh, not a Kato brand denim, but no selvage. and there's no selvage and you can see that you know, it's really important to the Kato brand and to Nick to use the selvage. Uh, one, 
for you as a consumer, the denim itself, it's a premium denim, denim and it's also gonna be uh, more on, on the pricier side, and there's a reason why. Mm -hmm. uh, as you can see, you can only produce so much fabric on the vintage looms, where on a mass-produced loom, uh, without salvage, uh, the garment isn't of quality. How many ounces is this? Uh, this is 10 point, uh, this is uh, 10 point, uh, 10, uh, no, no, 14 ounce black. So this is a 14 ounce black denim. Beautiful. So, yeah, this is, we uh, ask for ear, so ear the mean, do you know, like ear? So it takes uh, three yardage per one pieces. So it uses the fabric. So if it's this size, the 1.5, so it's ear, ear. Yeah. So you're saying one, that one pair, one pair of denim, it takes so, three yards. Yeah, yeah, three yards. This and is then this uh, one, one is point five. about one and yeah. a half yards because yeah. there's it's, more. It takes about double, yeah. Gotcha. Nick, I, I can't thank you enough for oh, taking so much. Yeah. the time to, to meet with uh, us uh, here at American Ride. Yeah. Uh, just got the tour of the facility mm -hmm. and love for the audience to learn a little bit about you. Mm -hmm. uh, one, how, how long ago, what, you're from Japan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I came from Japan, so uh, four years ago. Okay. Yeah, so actually, so Kato brand launched in US uh, to 2030. 2013. 2030. Okay. But, uh, so... And there's a reason why you created the four-way stretch, correct? It took you how long? A year and a half to develop? Yeah, actually, so... Uh, actually, in fact, the two, it takes a two year. So developing this fabric. Oh, wow. Two yeah. years. Yeah. First time. So I come up, uh, come up with, uh, came up with the, this idea. So I talked to Japanese fabric me, uh, Turkey fabric me. So I, I, uh, I asking the making so like uh, 300 degree stretch, and the service, but uh, they they said that they couldn't make uh, such that, that a it fabric. Was impossible. Yeah, it's hard to make uh, this fabric. Yeah. But after two years, you found. Yeah, I found the one fabric me. In Japan, In correct? Japan, gotcha. yeah. So we, uh, yeah, right now, so we, uh, they making uh, this fabric so as a exclusive kato, yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Where do you draw your inspiration? Uh, basically, so I like vintage. So I, I like uh, Levi's. Uh, for something so mm -hmm. vintage vintage uh, vintage jeans so I have let's say vintage car is looks like really cool yeah but uh, it uh, wasn't so comfortable well comfortable <laughs> yeah I changed the vintage so uh, it's really comfortable jeans so making uh, a change to the yeah Jeans, yeah. So you wanted to keep the vintage aesthetic, vintage. but get the comfort. Yes. Uh, hence, why you have the four-way stretch. Yeah, vintage I meets comfort. Yeah. There you go. Vintage meets comfort. Why is it important to make in USA for you? Oh, first of all, so one point. So we we creating so right here, so and developing right here. That's why so making right here. So it's this is very important. Mm -hmm. So if we uh, create uh, creation is here, but uh, making in China and di different area, but uh, it's production is different. So I, I think I think I think. So that's why so we making uh, particular about in made in U.S. Uh, made in U.S., uh, developing made in U.S., creating made in U.S., uh, production made in U.S., yeah. And that's impor important to you, obviously, for the brand, correct? 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Most important. Made in USA. So we particular about the Made in USA, our brand. So, yeah. As the brand ages, because when you think back to Lee, Wrangler, mm -hmm. Levi, mm -hmm. Made in USA, it had a different feel. Like you could tell the construction. Yeah. You could still buy mm -hmm. vintage pieces today yeah. where I feel that mm -hmm. if you were to buy a pair of Levi's and by any means I'm not degrading any brand here, uh, but because of construction these days, mm -hmm. it won't last as long. Do you feel that that's part of the, uh, the reason to keep the heritage of Kato? Uh, in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, yeah, I, I'm, I, I make I, I continue to making uh, made in US in the future, so I don't I don't want to change the uh, yeah I don't want to change the uh, area so be, uh, because our own factory in here so making in here yeah, so yeah. What's in the future for Kato? Future Kato. Uh, so yeah, I wanna I wanna make a more and more for comfortable jeans and then so different fabrics. So we uh, I wanna uh, I wanna develop the different fabrics. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of so uh, different fabric. So I wanna make it. Yeah, and so I wanna I wanna wear more. Uh, U.S. customer, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I developing right now so uh, web store, so something. So I wanna expand the uh, Kato brands for in U.S. Gotcha. Yeah. So you're available online web yeah. at your website yeah. katobrand.com. What does Kato mean? Kato Kato mean. Not uh, not only production for so it's lifestyle. So I wanna I wanna explain the customers. So it's our brand is not just the production, but also a life 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 brand. A lifestyle so, yeah, brand. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Where did the name come from, Kato? Uh, actually, this is launched. Designer name is Hiroshi Kato. So yeah, it's Kato Brands. Gotcha. Kato so Brands is, yeah, Kato. designer name, yeah, yeah, in Japan. So with that, I want to thank you, Nick, oh, again thank you so much. for yeah. the tour and for giving us a first-hand look yeah, of I, Kato brand. Yeah, and I appreciate it coming. Yeah, so I, this I, opportunity I taking, it. yeah, yeah. Thank so, you so much. So there you guys go. Uh, and until next season, see ya.